Right, good evening everybody. Everybody that's been here is basically for the VIP invitation. Um, so I don't have to go through the health and safety. You know roughly how we work, don't you? If you don't buy now, then you should do. Um, we a big thank you to um, Michelle and Jason for allowing us in to investigate the eclipse here. You are really welcome. Thank you. Um, I'm going to get a glance because I've got a few things to point out. So, so I'm not going to go through the health and safety tonight because you know the drill. Um, we're at the eclipse here in which there oh, The usuals. Right, sorry for the interruption there. Right, you're in the 1540s building. Um, the eclipse in Winchester. Um, I suspect most of you have had a nosy, like we all have. And um, it's been lots of different things here. Um, and of course the most famous is the lovely lady, Alice Lyle. Okay. Um, Alice Lyle, if you don't know the history, um, was found guilty of harbouring fugitives by uh, Judith, Judas, Judas, Judas. Judge Jeffries. Right, thank you, Judge Jeffrey. Thank you. Judicial is what you were going to say, wasn't it? Yep, thank you. And she was the last person in England to be beheaded. Okay. Um, so, this, on our first visit, there was lots of paranormal activity here. We had shadow people behind this bar. Um, we had. Um, oh, we've got a light. What light did we have? Oh, yeah, the light went on on its own. And apparently, the switch is over here behind the peanuts, and nobody was behind the bar. Um, upstairs we were sat there and we heard a thump and the cooler opened and Michelle's experienced her mobile phone going from the table across the room. Okay, so as I said upstairs, it's quite unusual to have physical activity so fast when you come into a new property. The last time this was officially investigated it was by Peter Underwood, okay? And we're going right back to 1929. Uh, Peter Underwood, for people that don't know who he is, he was a very strict paranormal investigator who went in basically to debunk everything. Here he found evidence of what we would like to call haunting. Okay? Um, we're going to work differently tonight. We've got John working tonight, and all you, you all know that this is a medium. Okay. Um, so John will be working spiritually, okay? and then we've got Ollie, who's going to be working scientifically. So what we're going to do is we're going to break up the venues, so the venues, break up the in zone. So the first, as you know, we work an hour and a half. Um, you'll be getting 25 minutes with one, then we're going to swap you over. Okay, so you get to investigate both parts of the pub, spiritually and scientifically. Okay, so you're in teams, which I messed up once and got right pennies with been in two. Um, so that's how we're going to be working tonight. So that way you get to, as I say, really get to feel it. We've got small groups so we don't miss anything. Uh, we could have piled them in, but that's what, not what we're about. Everyone here is actual paranormal investigators that appreciate what we're going to get. Okay, so, hello, good evening. Thank you for joining us. Excuse me, I'll just say hello. Um, 22 watching. <clears throat> wicked, thank you. Please don't forget to um, share this. Um, you're important as well, so if you message down in the little box, your comments come straight through to us here. We can react. If you see anything, hear anything, sense anything, please let us know. Um, have I missed anything? What else are we missing? Um, Sanity. Sorry? Sanity. Sanity. Yeah. yeah. So, as I was saying... I, I, the, feel like, I feel Yeah, no, we're doing all right. Okay. The first investigation here, we came in with um, blindfolded mediums um, that came into the eclipse... Um, knew nothing about it, so we went through that. Matt, you can find on Spiritual Productions TV Facebook page. This is, um, as you all know, you're watching us on Keep It Real Spiritual and Paranormal Events Facebook page. Um, so if you want to watch the first one of the eclipse, it's over on that page. I believe we've got it on our live show page as well, so you can catch up and stay with us on the investigations through the eclipse, okay? So you won't miss anything. Since we come through that door, it's been recorded. Any questions? Somebody must have something. Make it up then. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you lot at home, please share this. Why do we get it out the more um, it's publicised and um, people can share in the investigation tonight? As I say, this first investigation official from um, 1929 where Peter Underwood came in. If you don't know Peter Underwood, you can have a look. 
Um, most people know John Taylor. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I can't see John. He's beyond a post. I'll be on a post. Hello, everyone. <laughs> he really is here. It's not just his direct voice. So we've got John Taylor here tonight. As I say, most of the people in this room have done um, investigations Ooh. before. Um, so this has been basically a VIP um, ghost hunt. Are you going to add yeah. anything? Bob Hunt? No, here. I'm just... Bob listen. is here. He's hiding I behind am the here. camera. We've got Susan, Eileen... Tila, Carol, Tracy, June, loads of people watching, all saying hello, so that's cool. Brilliant. That's hello to you all, thank you for joining us. Don't forget, your opinions are, are important, because sometimes when you're on top of the investigation, you can't always see what's going on, you're just too close on it. So um, if you see it from home, please um, update us, inform us of what you've seen and what you've heard. While I've got everybody here, our next public investigation is Widley. Fort Whitley in Portsmouth. All right, Fort Whitley, Portsmouth. Um, 28th. On February 28th? March of 28th. March of 28th. March of 28th. Oh, he's giving me a look now. 14th March. of March is Groundland. March of 28th. 14th of March, Groundland's sold out. Yeah, Groundland's are sold out, but you can watch that live. We're coming out live on that one as well. That is to support the Groundland Theatre, um, so don't miss that one. On March the 28th. February, March, April. Oh, when are we? <laughs> Give us that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's what you get for not writing it down, uh, isn't it? What's the matter with me? No pole right, dancing, right. please. <laughs> right, we're here. March the 14th, Grounders Theatre, sold out. March the 28th, Whitley on Portsdown Pier. Open the door, King Charles II, guard change. I don't know, I'm nerved then too, didn't I? I'll do it then, shall I? Uh, <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh, King Charles II guard. Good evening. My word. Is there trouble tonight? Not as far as we're aware, everyone keeps quiet and behaves themselves. Oh, that's a hat on the second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair play to you. Right, so as you can see, as human trigger objects, we have two reenactors. Dave's come as one of the Royal Army. One of the guards that would have been here for the for the execution of Dame Alice, that would have been the coven they were wearing. And we have Sarah, who's come as... Mistress, Sarah. <laughs> mistress, as a mistress. So hopefully having these people in costume will encourage activity. So that should all be good. That's Sally locking up, and you can hear banging. <laughs> I thought you were expecting someone else to come banging in through there. I don't know what she was doing. Just a load of peasants coming in. Right, Sally, I've explained. I thought you were signing. Right. I've I've explained who they are and what they're doing. I'm moving, walking, talking, trigger objects. Yes. Thank you, babies. Look at yours. Right, so feast your eyes. I'm not spoiling you every time. Right. Okay. So, Kingsman, you are in group one. Okay. That won't help him. You're working with Ollie. <coughs> so let's get this rolling. Um, let's see what's going to happen tonight. So can I have team one straight away upstairs? I thought, I thought John was staying upstairs, yeah. Sonny. Yeah, John's, well, John's no. upstairs and then it's yeah, team fine. one. Whoever, team whoever one is the upstairs, medium is, which is John, upstairs. Oh. Team one, can we have you upstairs, please? Yes. Who's in what, Sonny? Is that then three? Michelle and Jason is team two down here. Okay. Okay. Right. So there they go. To start the investigation now. <laughs> Mistress Sarah with her torch. Right, so Ollie, thank yes. you. Cool. Right, so. Well, let's start with a bit of a seance, to be honest, guys. So it's we team all... leader Rolly. It's all right. I'm just right, explaining guys. people who you are. Head team leader Rolly. Oh, head team leader. If we all stand here in a circle. Let's put a seance together as much as we can. Obviously, bring the spirit in. Mm. 
hand. Oh, 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 yeah. 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 I, I've not been introduced. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so to everybody at home, and it's the same for everybody in the room. If you hear anything, feel anything, see anything, draw it to the attention of Ollie. Tonight, your medium down here is Sarah. Okay, so either of those two will do. Great. Perfect. Okay. So, Spirit, if you're here with us around the building, around the area, you mean no harm. Come here and love and light. If you'd like to make contact with us, use our energy as much as you can of it. That'd be fantastic. If you could give us a sign that you're around us or with us, make a tap, make a bang, flash one of the lights if possible, or flicker one of the lights. That'd be fantastic. Don't forget everybody at home, if you see anything, you're sensing anything or you're feeling anything, please let us know. Sideways on the page, then one said. No. It's okay. Okay. So just viewing Sarah, can yeah. I just ask you to speak up quite loud yeah. for people at home, please? Do you want to say it again, Sarah? Mm, I was just saying that um, my legs have gone heavy, which is one of my signs that I have there are spirit around and I just have the feeling that there are three or four energies that are just on the outskirts of us that are just watching just seeing what we're up to they're as interested in us as we are in them okay well we come come and join us spirit we mean you no harm at all if you could let us know that you're you're here with us give us a sign or a reaction of some sort Make a ting, make a bang, tap on the window maybe. Just let us know that you're outside of the circle and around us. Strange noise is somebody going past the pub, yeah. not in the room. I don't know if this is interesting at all for you guys, Michelle and Jason, but has anyone seen any sort of reflection of faces in the glass, like so people like stood behind the bar or anything like that at all? Has anyone said anything? Mainly. No. No. Just shaking up, shaking upstairs. Okay. Rather than down. <laughs> it's just because of, uh, you know, looking at sort of the glass, it would be easily you could see like a reflection of faces or something like that. Maybe. Just as a coincidence. Not, not consciously. Okay. Door, doors closing, but don't normally close. Okay. That'd be interesting. If they could do that, that'd be fantastic. Twice today. Oh, okay. That's good then. Obviously they know that they've got Yeah. Uh, it's got quite a hooked 
Gaunt's nose. Okay. Like Gaunt's hooked nose. His clothing isn't the ear that I'm wearing, it's more the beginning of, um, I want to say, 1900s. Okay. So it's more modern than the clothing I'm wearing. Yeah. And I feel that he worked here yeah. because he's showing me with a, with a tea towel over his shoulder. Okay. Probably a living top, but whatever, a tea towel over his shoulder. Mm -hmm. And he's just suspicious. That's how I, that's the feeling I'm getting. He's suspicious. He's suspicious of what we're up to. Okay. Let's see if I can get some of that to him in a minute. Do you guys take that to The pub can be a bit like that. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily a pub that's generous of spirit. Does that make sense? Yeah, They're not yeah, viewing you with the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Okay. Yes, that's probably true. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like he wants. He knows everyone that comes into the pub. Mm -hmm. The regulars. Yeah. He knows what they have who they are, and we're strangers and we're into that space. That's is definitely how I'm feeling. Um, I should definitely treat a stranger. It's like, it's like there are a lot of other voices whispering to say, yeah. uh, mm, who's that, who's that, mm. sort of thing. Okay. Um, and that's what I think, oh, oh yeah, okay. Now they're all starting, all the people that I said were on the outside are mm -hmm. starting to, to come closer. Okay. And they are That's all good. men that I can see. And it is like there are people sat in the seats behind that are sat with one drink and just, mm -hmm. you know, looking over it. Yeah. So I do feel that he was behind the bar. Mm -hmm. I feel the bar was a lot smaller. Okay. More of a, a cubby hole than it is now, certainly in the, okay. the image I'm getting. Okay. I what I am going to do, guys, because I need to write some notes of this. If I break the circle and get you guys to do that, I'm going to write some, some notes. But carry on. Okay. Sarah, if you want to leave this. Okay. So no one's actually saying anything. I'm not getting any communication other than they're here and they're watching. And he's... he's um, I don't want to put suspicious, which is what I've said, but uh, I get the feeling that if we walked in now, in his time, that he probably wouldn't have served us. That this pub was involved in something else under the under his watchful eyes. So I, I want to say smuggling, but I don't know that it is smuggling. That something was going on in the pub which is why it was like a closed shop. So anyone coming in off the street would be treated with a lot of um, disdain, I suppose. They wouldn't be welcome because they'd want them out as soon as possible. Um, he's not got, well, I'll just let go of it. He's got a very hooked nose, for want of a better word, with big, Brim that comes down and quite ruddy on the cheek, but gaunt, gaunt of the face. It's like there's an illness going on in him. Not drink. I, I wouldn't like to say. There's there's an illness. It feels like there's an illness going on in him, which probably makes him more surly than. <laughs> um, he's not got a lot of hair. not got a lot of hair and it's like he, he's like got one shoulder higher than the other so whether there's been an injury there in the past I don't know again he's he's I'm asking him to come close and talk and he's not he's just watching as the others are the others have started to talk as in probably about us I don't know 
Christine, where are you picking up anything? I'm picking up the name Edmund. Okay. That, that, and I can see your figure of your man, and he's got like a waistcoat, a long yeah. waistcoat. Yeah. And a, sh a shirt underneath it, but it's pretty grubby, mm -hmm. and breeches. And a neckchief, like a, just a tied up bit of cloth, for want of a better word. Yeah. Um, but it's filthy. Mm. Just trying to interrupt. There's a pink phone on the table there, which, um, is it Misha? Mm. Can I ask you to either put that on flight mode or turn it off, please? Yeah, sure. Because I could see the K2 go mad and then I noticed <laughs> the phone. It's me. We got a naughty one in the camp. It's, it's only for one. my food. <laughs> suddenly got very hot. might be because the millions of layers I'm wearing. <laughs> One of the chaps in the corner I feel is a lawman, is someone that has power and that power is perhaps misused. Which corner? In the corner opposite. Me. And, um, it's like commanding the corner, as in to say, well, like no one will say anything unless they look at him first. He, to me, feels like he has the control over the, the people here. Do you think he's police or do you think he could be customs? My first thought was police. Before you asked that, I'd already thought police rather than customs. What sort of time period? Uh, 1900 and something, so before the First World War, I'm feeling. Maybe the back end of 1800s, but not, not back to the era of the clothes that I'm wearing. I'm going to try and ask this other chap to come forward, which Christine's already doing. He's much more grandly clothed, and there's an impatience about him. He's not a nice piece of work. There's a an edginess to him that I'm not particularly happy with. At the moment, he's not someone I'd like to connect with. Uh, maybe John would be able to pick him up later. Obviously, for the guys around the circle as well, are you, are you, are you picking up on anything? Yeah, any sort of weird sensations or anything like that at all? Any? No? Being quite relaxed? Mm -hmm. There's a heaviness. Yeah. No, a heaviness. Mm -hmm. All I can say. There's almost an expectancy as well. But the heaviness is there, but it's like they're waiting. Something I did notice people at home is um, when Sarah's connecting with the first gentleman, the K2 on the table, which I took you across to, was going absolutely ballistic it's as she started to as she started to connect to the second person. It stopped and then re reconnected. Whereas when we did it last time, it was 
it was upstairs, it was it was static, but it was static between amber and red. So it's interesting to kind of see the correlation of the difference between what's going on down here and what's obviously going on upstairs as well. And on that note, I'm going to take everybody upstairs and we'll catch up with you again soon. See you in a bit. Right, we're taking you through the back now of the Eclipse and up the stairs to the other group that's working tonight. Upstairs, the medium is, oh, I mean, fell up it, John Taylor. So, let's see what they've been getting up here. Oh, obviously something's happening, I can hear them. I nearly fell up the stairs. Bob's beat me to it. There we go. Can you make it go red for us, please? Can you go up to the red again? Just try to move it again. K2 on the table, so. Yeah, we asked it. We got an old girl with us. Um, we also got like a woman dressed like. Um... <laughs> Terrible. No, yeah, Sarah. I know Sorry, like dressed as the same as Sarah. So if you can make that go up to the red, thank you. Can you come on, you can do this. Just ask and acknowledge. Try to pick it up, move it. There's a little ball on the glove. If you want to have fun with us, can you touch the table, bang the table? Maybe show yourself on the camera. You wouldn't know what camera. You wouldn't know what camera was. Everyone wants to just put their hands on the table like that. Just to, there you go. <coughs> the energy's going up. The, for people at home, the little light that's dancing up and down on the table is actually camera flare, not a spirit light. It's, we're catching the light off of the candle there. We have turned, you've got your phone off, Dave, haven't you? Or on the side? Yeah. Because it wasn't, like you say, it was very still when we asked. No, it's turned right off. So again, we're going to ask, can you make that go up to, to the red? One more. Come on, Sarah, you can do this. That's it, thank you. That's really good. If you can keep going up to the red, you're welcome to take that with you if you want to play with it. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. Is that your brother you're with? Did you live here in the building? Were you part of this? Yeah, she grew up here. So I feel you grew up here. She's about eight or nine. Long, lovely blonde hair down to her shoulders, maybe a bit longer. She's running around up here. So I think they used to play a lot of hide and seek up through the building. I say on the glove there's a little ball if you can make that go off at all there's one behind me by the picture if you want to play with that it'd be fantastic you can take it with you if you want try to pick it up move it knock the table just give us a sign that you're around us you can flicker the lights I don't know if you can do that maybe you can flicker the lights for us that'd be really good can you give us a nice loud knock on the table please Can you stop it, dude? <laughs> Can you, you hear hear me before I started? Okay, now thank you. I was going to ask you to stop it, and you did the K2. <coughs> so we just want a little rest now for the K2 because we just want to make sure it's not outside influence or anything. So if you can keep it on the green, go back to green for me at the beginning, please. Can you just stop that for a sec? Just walk away from it a bit. Go back to the green for me. Just step away from the machine. So, strange. I don't know what is in there. If it's picking up what it would pick up. I'm not feeling there's someone behind me on the time yet. Yeah. But that woman, like I say, dressed like Sarah, she stood with, well, she stood watching us. I know that. You just go back to the one for me. Try to keep it on one. I don't know why. That's better. Now go up. Can you go up to the red now, please? Go on, you can do it. Two more. 
Oh, one more. <laughs> now, see this? I got here now. That's better. We want to do it on side. Now, now, can you go up? We're going to ask again now. That's it. I asked you to step away. Now, can you move back towards that? Just give us a sign that you're with us. I did ask it to go quiet a few minutes ago. You're obviously a bit delayed in your thing. Thank you. And now again, so you're welcome to play with that. If you want to go in again and try to move it, move the cat ball on the glove. That's it. Go on, have fun with it. Can you go up to the red for me, please? Nice flashing lights for you to play with. So you can move it. I've got a lovely dog with him as well. Got two more. If you like that, you could take one with you in the spirit, make a copy. You could play with that. Is anyone else with you, Sarah? Would you like to? Bring someone else, someone else want to come in to say hello to us? I know it's a common name, but we get, I've got George as well. Very common name, but there's a guy in like a flat cap, a flat, flat cap. So I don't know what that would put, 50s or something, 60s. Yeah, it's a dog here. Yeah. 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 He's in between my legs. Yeah. So yeah, I've got like a I don't know what they call it. My knee, my knee it up. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's a oh I don't know like a sandy coloured I don't know Labrador or something like that. I don't know something like that. I see a dog. There's a guy like say a flat cap and he looks about seventy odd. He's got like teeth missing. As he smiles, he just steps forward. So who are you, sir? Did you drink in this building? I think we, we like these pints. Uh, yeah, I'm going to whistle a stout beer then. Yeah, I was going to say, like a stout or something. Yeah, he liked his beer. Yeah. So are you part of this? Are you a regular in this building? When Also getting as well, but I don't know what. Some money was stolen. Like in this building, someone stole some money or something. So I'm seeing old fashioned banknotes or pound notes. You know the big notes? They were quite big and it looks like they were stolen. Someone took them. If you can go to the other side of the table, there's on the glove, like I say, there's a little ball. If you can make that go off. There's one behind me by the picture, just here. If you want to go over and maybe touch that, you're most welcome. You get anything to pull? No? No. <coughs> so they, that one's gone dead to naught. It's gone off again, so that it was going up. Now it's gone leveled up, which is good sometimes because if it stays there, you know it's oh, this one's going. That's um, humidity. Humidity. Yeah. Okay. Twenty-one point one. That's temperature in Celsius. So if we can ask maybe to make it drop or go up, what the one or the other. Twenty-one point one on the humidity. So I'm going to ask, can you make it go colder now? Can you maybe lower the temperature for us? Yeah. 
It's good that it stopped. It's like they've stepped back a bit. Maybe regrouping their energies. I like things stopping, do you know what I mean? Because it's constant, you just think, oh yeah, it's the room or something, but when it sort of like um stops again it makes it's like they pull back a bit. It's closed over this over. If that lady's still here, I'm gonna call you May because Hi. that's what you kept saying, May. It's like she wants us to like are you gonna she's got a tray with her, like do you wanna do you know do you, yeah, do, you, do you wanna take an order? That's what I feel. It's like she wants to walk around and take orders. The beer and stuff. I just feel very much she's with us as well. So if you can walk to that end of the table. It's not much of a dinner, but obviously the pig's head on the table on a plate. <laughs> Not much of a, well it's not for us, but it's like a pig's head on a tray of somewhere. You know when they put all the garnish around it, it's like a pig's head on a, so I don't know if they would have done that. Like a little feast. Yeah, yeah they definitely would have. Mm -hmm. You think this goes back to 1550, they definitely would have had it. Yeah, I'm seeing like a burnt pig, pig's head, around the side it's got like a bit of garnish. And I know the Sarah is on about that. We've got Sarah, like I say, we've got the Sarah, she's dressed like Sarah as well. So I don't know if she's interested. <laughs> Interestingly, John, um, someone from home has just commented that they have a man and a Labrador dog downstairs. Yeah, we've got a dog up here as well. Sandy colour. Yeah, maybe it's followed you up here is what I'm saying. Yeah, it's interesting. it came in. It came in. It's about that tall. I don't know, about two foot high. It's sandy. I said Labrador. I don't know. I'm not into dog breeds, but it's like a sandy colour to me. And it came over and obviously Dave found it under yeah. his boy's legs. Yeah. It's interesting. They saw the same dog downstairs and it seems to have followed you up. Yeah, good. It's interesting, because obviously we don't know what's going on down there. I suddenly had a little boy and girl that came in that were playing. Some guy, like say, with a flat cap, I don't know what, you know, looks like 50s or something, but he, oh, we've got that with teeth, he got teeth missing, so he didn't have many teeth. But he liked his beer, like stout one. Anyone else like to join us, please feel free. There's plenty of stuff on the table. Again, if you can make the, the, the lights go up to red, it'd be really good. We still don't understand all the time what the EMF picks up, but it's really interesting if you can make it go higher. funny because although we're here someone keeps saying to me mention the tunnels in Cornwall and did you say they got a pub in Cornwall yeah it's, it's not near Tim Tim Jadger no but someone keeps saying mention the tunnels in Cornwall it's like they followed us up or they it's like they're in the pub in Cornwall but they followed it we've been to Tim Jadger they followed us up they followed they're not here like normally but they like they're talking about the pub in Cool. So you think the connection might be because of the Mich like Michelle and Jason? Yeah, Michelle and Jason. They have a pub in St Ives. Okay. Um, I don't know much about that one. No, it's like tunnels. Well, obviously they would have been smugglers and tunnels, but they it's like this guy saying I followed them up. And he's he's been around them in the pub in Cornwall as well, and I know this is what they're saying. It's quite interesting. Be interested to see what Michelle says about that. Yeah. So what's he saying about Cornwall? Just mentioning tunnels. He's talking about tunnels and a pub in Cornwall, and it's like he's followed them up. So they. And we'll put that down there because as you're talking about Cornwall, that's been two and three on the K2 meter, and there was a bang over there, unless it was Sally. But they should know someone that's had like open heart surgery or something to do with their heart. 
either like a pacemaker fitted or I don't think it's that, but something to do with corrective surgery on the heart. Well, they're quite interested because we're going to swap teams in a minute and they'll be up here. So they'll they should know. I feel they know someone that would have had that done. I feel it's a lady in her fifties. She's still living. I don't think she went to spirit through this, but I just feel like they're saying about this talk about having this surgery done. If this May, if this is your name May, can you try to make it go up again to the, the, to the red, please? Then we've got the servant with us as well. So I was say she wants us to take orders. I also feel as well, Bob, we said that there's money stolen from here. Yeah. You know, the old notes. I've seen big notes. It's like someone stole some money. It's very possible, John, with the amount of history well, that's, that's what here. I'm yeah, it's 1550. You can't prove, I know, but someone's on about sh the notes that went missing. And obviously, I think they just got away with it. Because we're very much aware at the moment of these sort of three or four people that's with us. Can you go over by Dave on the other side? There's a cat ball. Can you maybe make that move? There's one behind me by the picture as well. I've got a real cold breeze coming up the right side of my knee. Sort of coming in from here, which one here. Um, can you make the others aware of that, please? And the name Dennis. Dennis is, that's not, is that my, I don't know, Dennis. You can write that down. Who are you, Dennis? Did you used to work for the council? <laughs> so did the council. Are you open? Is it Paul? No. Are you open to? Can you hear me, alright? Yes. Can you, are you open? Is that okay if I give you like a little message? Go on. And you just have. There's a lady here who's immensely proud of you, and she keeps talking about you never got a chance to say goodbye to her. And I know she would have died in a bed condition. Um, definitely family member to you, and you never got a chance to say goodbye to her. Do you understand that? Yes. And she's very much proud about three thousand pounds or something about the money raised for people. Do you understand this? No, I don't understand that. But <clears throat> okay, but do you understand the amount of just money being raised for people for good causes? Not direct, not linking to um, a, a particular person. Not to link, no, not linking to her. Not raising money, yeah, I'm a mason, so. Oh, okay, she's, that's what she's on about, raising money. Yeah. Because she's showing me thousands, I'm saying 3,000, but do you understand? Raising money for yes, people. Yes, we do that all the time. Oh, okay, but she's very proud of you, because she's saying, I never got a chance to tell you this on the earth, that she was proud of you. And I know every now and then you just keep, it's like she comes into your mind. Do you understand that? Yes. I know you're and all interested in that reading, but I'm, I'm going to take you away. It's private work. reading for Paul. Um, so we're going to go back like downstairs now. Um, at the end here, we've got a infrared camera. Um, can you tell them what the other end, please? That's infrared. Um, Oh, well, I'm going to put that back on because I've got to go down the stairs. But we've got an infrared camera running there full term. So um, it's one that's going to go off with movement. So we'll be going through that. So it's gone white at the moment because you're catching the top of the stairs. Here we go. Right, so um, tomorrow I'll be going through that. So as I say, Paul's getting a private message. So I don't really want to put that out on um, Facebook Live. So we've come back down to see how we're doing down here. What's the update, guys? Um, so we've got slight movement on the board, which is good to see. Um, so we've got initials of WAP, or a name of WAP. Um, we've just asked it the question of, are you related to someone around the board? It's just taken it to Christy. So we're just about to find out. So Christine, you can come off the last voice, please. Yeah. And if you ask it questions, which I'm sure you're quite capable of doing. Um, <laughs> are, you, are you connected to my father's side of the family? You should have said it go back in the centre. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's right. So. 
my father's name is Phillips, which is P. Okay, yeah, well, I'm thinking it's initials. Mm. Right? Mm. When we were down here earlier, because um, Michelle and Jason is quite new to the investigations, <clears throat> and they were a little bit eek when the Ouija board came out. So explaining that, you know, how grounded we are with Ouija boards, the um, light started to dim and flicker down here. Are you my father's brother? Can we take it back into the centre? Oh, right. Let's look around the pub while we're doing a little bit of a Ouija board. Beautiful, friendly Were pub. Were one of my father's brothers? Feels very um, welcoming um, and alive. Can you spell out the map for the. Oh, Bob looked a bit spooky there, didn't he, folks? You were. Could you give me the first <sighs> initial of your name? So if you're of Winchester Way, um, it's certainly worth popping into. Um, it's in the square. In the square. In the square. Can you By the cathedral. Um, nice menu there. I'll take you over so you can have a look. Come in and, and feel yourself how friendly and welcoming it is in here. As you sit and join you. Second initial of your of your name, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that e? W -E. W -E. W -E. O W E. Third letter then, sorry. I can see the um, K2 going mad, that's because I've come back over, is it Ollie? Yeah. Thank you. <coughs> I suppose people at home are probably regular watchers and you understand yeah. that um, oh, because we're coming out live, we're using the Wi Fi. Right. So if I go near oh. them, then the K2 will go off. So it's a bit of a is false that what reading. You're to spell the false spirit? W E P? Strange thing is, my dad was Edward, Edward Phillips, EP. I don't know where the, where the W comes from. Don't take any notes of the K2, I'm just coming in close so you can see what's going on in here. In the, in the war as a, a weapons export. What, my dad? Yeah. No, he was a um, member of a tank. He drove a, or was, you know, in a tank. Hmm. Could be warrant officer. No, he wasn't, he wasn't even a, I think he was just a private. I'm mm, just wondering if that's what, yeah, I don't know. Were you trying to spell W-E-P before spirit? <laughs> is it a person with your chairs or is it the wind? Yeah. The noise in the background sounds like the chairs outside, it's not a noise coming inside from paranormal. Travels at night, doesn't it? Are you are you still connected to Christine Spirit? Yes or no? Wait, do you 
interesting. Yeah. Okay. Okay, back to the centre. Okay, just let let us know. Yes or no? Are you still connected to Christine? Yes or no? Okay, back to the centre. Can you tell us the year that you were born? Oh, lovely. Okay, I'm on my way to the bottom of the stairs. Hold on there. Here we go. That's rather interesting. You know, you, you can just feel that energy here. Right, there's the stairs. Um, Tammy, do you need the light on? need to look on let us know. Right, is it the next bit up or is it this bit? That's the bottom and then as you know they twirly round look and then we start to go up to the next bit. Which there we go. Is just turn the lights on because as I came down, I, there was the lights on. There we go. How's that? Is that better? I'm not sure if you want bottom or top. I'll come down the bottom and then you get a good view. There we go. You know, as you can probably imagine, a property of this age, it's quite hard to get around the stairs because they're so narrow. There we are. Is it tough or bottom? Oh, that's right. There we go then. I've got the light on. Did they say one light on? Light on, light on. I was going to say off. We couldn't really see anything. They were on when I came down, so I put them back on. Well, it's only about. Anybody sense anything on those stairs now? You can see the camera seems to be moving for some reason. Right, it's all going to happen now. What we're going to do is we're just about to swap the guests across. The John will be staying upstairs um, and Ollie downstairs for this part, but we're going to swap the guests. So bear with us. I'm going to leave that there for you so you can watch the steps as everyone comes up and down. Black ones, but they itch. <laughs> so I took them off. Don't be late. <laughs> yeah, took. No, don't get the bar bit. He's going to go around a bit further. Oh, this bit. Yep. Feels dark. Carry on. <laughs> I was following you. <laughs> Come on, Ferris, control her, will you? <laughs> I'll try. I'm not going to say much. Though. 
It's very warm in here. Well, I can't go in there, it's dark. Go on, you big brave boy now. As I said, we're just swapping over teams. We've got the upstairs team down, now we're going for the downstairs up. So, um, watch the stairs, you never know your luck. Yeah. Oh! What? Came this way, wasn't it? Mind yourselves, we are video in, so it could be worth £200 on you can frame. I want to cut of that. Yeah? You've seen them like this before. So now we see what the reaction is. Now the lady's maid has gone upstairs and we've got the King's Land downstairs. So first of all I'm going to take you upstairs. These little tiny narrow things, they're original stairs here, just got a bit up on. Oh, there we go again. Oh, I felt I was drunk coming up there. Right, here we go. Swap of teams. This is really good, actually. Yeah. Lovely place. Feels so very warming, um, calming, you know, like inviting. We had a lady dressed so very similar to you, and she wanted to take our orders. That's why. <laughs> yeah, and I've seen like a pig's head on a, on a plate. Oh, um, right. Okay. Well, they say, when it done, when they have a magic, like a pig. Yeah, possibly. They're yeah. quite sensitive, these, so um, obviously we're trying to. Stabilise them a bit, but obviously if you shake the table, they will go off. Well, no. Yeah, it all slopes that way towards you. I noticed that. <laughs> it all goes down. A little bit there. It started rolling. We left that there, and all of a sudden it just started rolling down. But again, team two. Um, so I don't know. Is that K two? <coughs> I'm feeling I should be far enough away now, not to be upset by that. No, because when, when we put it on, when everyone's gone, it's not moving, and then all of a sudden we had some great responses on that, the last K2. Um, there. So once again, we've got different uh, people in the room now, so again, you're most welcome to step forward to join us. If you just like to maybe knock the table, Maybe move the little green lights on the machine there, on the little box. If you'd like to step forward and we'd, we'd most welcome you with open arms. So that could be the fridge thing when it kicks yeah. in, I don't know. It's the cooler, isn't it, on there? This is cooler, yeah. Yes, yeah, so it could be below that's going. I've just had a whisper in my ear, very clear. You shouldn't be in here. You shouldn't. I shouldn't. Maybe it's but yeah, maybe it's the upper tier, like. As in, I'm a servant. I shouldn't be in here. Yeah, interesting. So. Yeah, that was that was really clear. If anyone like to step forward, can you make yourself known to us? <clears throat> can you knock the table? Knock on the uh, the clock, the grandfather clock, or the old clock on the side. Just give us a, a nod that you're with us. Just 
want to make yourself known be really good Maybe gently touch one of the people around the table. Maybe not touch them on the shoulder or gently caress their hair just to let us know that you're with us. And please step forward. That gone out or was that a timer? <laughs> the whole wave light's just gone off. Is that a timer? No. No, there's a normal light switch at the bottom. There's no timer on that. The whole wave light's yeah. just gone off. So it was on obviously when you came up. Now it's just literally flickered. It's just gone off now. Can you no. turn that on again for us, please? There's someone turned it. I don't know where the switch is, but it's literally just gone off. Yeah, because they both not appeared, else he would have said it's dead. What's not the bottom one at the top? I bet so. I thought it was on the Sorry, top. Sorry, if you turn that light off, can you put it back on again for us, please? So, I'm just trying to make a note of that. That's the same. One forty. Oh, wait. Right. That was you, Spirit, that turned the hallway light off. Can you maybe try to turn that back on again for us? No one would be down there, would they? Not the no, Bob, because the Bob, Bob would have shouted when yeah, they turned the light off. Yeah, they said it to me. Yes, the Bob's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I test that? Yeah, I mean, if it's there, if the switch is there, by all means. Oh, yeah, I don't know if that's the fridge, uh, the cooler, like I no, say, but bulb's fine. bulb's fine. That's interesting then. That's gone off now, so that's stopped. Oh, okay. So I definitely think that's the cooler. Just eliminates that. So now the cooler's gone off. We're going to invite if anyone wants to come in, head towards the table. You see a little green light. You can maybe make that go up. It'd be really good. You try to move it. There's a couple of cat balls. Right, um, Bob's just come up now. Did you turn that light off? Yes, he did. Debunked. Oh, debunked. Okay. <clears throat> Is it? So they're saying I'm not. Spirit, if you're vibrating the camera, can you please stop? <laughs> oh, it could be the cord. With the cord, no, I don't get the cord. I make the shelf. No, that's no, too far no. away. It's a gimbal, it's so it's, it you reacts. It. it should take oh, that yeah, bounce. We'll debunk the light because Bob turned off. Right. Right. Everyone's saying. On the fourth step up, there's someone stood there. And they've had the camera pointing at him. And that's on the bottom steps, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um, Spirit, if you can confirm that for us by playing with the lights here, can you make them flicker or something if someone's standing on that fourth step, please? Oh. Peter's gone up to your knee. Peter's just bent over and just up to your knee. Is that a different K2? Yes, because um, Paul took it, that's Paul's. He took it down. That's my little box. So. Give us a sign if, you're st if you were stood on the steps, please. Let's see if I can pick something up. Okay. 
I say someone like to enter, join us. Do We're sat around the table up here. I've got a lady. Want to say hello? She's around 30-ish. Not a young or old. Want to say hello? From the era that I am dressed in, so 1600s. She's dressed. She's recognising that I'm dressed in, in her era. Okay. She's wearing a very pale green dress with, I can't think what it's called, but I've got here, but it's white and it's a bigger one. So she's a different class to me. Just asking for my help. I've got a feeling in my stomach that is of like anticipation. Mm -hmm. That's you moving the K2. Can you try to make it go up to red for me, please? Maybe you draw a bit closer and maybe go up another light. She's worried about her children. She's concerned about her children. Her head is covered, like mine, so I can't see her hair. And there's another lady in the room with her. Okay. So if these ladies are with us, can you sort of maybe give us some sort of acknowledgement that you're, with, that you're there, tap the table? And then the K2 is moving the light, but if you can make it go up, uh, maybe go up to a, a bit higher. Still got a dog here, it's like a Labrador dog. It's still around with like a sandy oh, colour. It's because it's downstairs. It came in with the fur Right, we're going to leave them investigating up here. We're going to go down and see um, what's happening with Ollie. And on the way down, we'll have another look at that staircase. So, right, I'm going to pop the light on because I don't want to land on my backside and amuse you a lot. So, here we go. As I say, you're going to see that because it's like walls and whatever you around this bit. And tiny little original steps here. So, here we are. We're just going down to the bottom. Right, Bob's just turned the light off, which means you can see absolutely nothing. I can't reach the light switch on my frozen shoulder. There we go. Just turn it off. Can't see anything, it just blacks it out. Bob's been really helpful turning it off and we can't see anything. Is there anybody on the staircase there? Would you like to come forward and say hello? Can you show us a spirit light or make a tap or a bang for us please? Feel there's still there people at home? Anybody know who it is? What they're wearing? Any information you can give us on that? Right, we're coming around now to see how Ollie's doing. He's over in the corner. Okay. What's been happening down here then? Any update? <laughs> So we're getting very slight movement on glass. I'm going to take you across and move you off that a little bit so I'm not interfering so much with the K2. Right, so, 
That's Bob Hooper there. It's funny because it's not. There is a slight wobble to it, yeah. Yeah. So I take it out. Well, it might be more wobbly with me moving it. Right, I'm just going to turn you around so you can have a look at Ollie. There we go. Can you, um, yeah, it certainly is wobbling a bit. Can you take the glass towards me, Scarrett? Apparently you walked past the mist again on the bottom of the stairs. Did I? That's yeah. really interesting. Let's go back and have another look. We'll come back and again to Ollie. Mary, Mary, I picked Mary up just a minute ago. Um, this is the second time I've contacted a Mary in this particular area. Right, I'm going to put it there and hopefully it'll stop wobbling for you guys. It will for a minute because I'm just trying to get you a good angle on on the stair. There we go. If there's a Mary, can you come forward please and speak with us? Do you want to hear Mary Devlin? Mary Devlin. So if there's anybody at home that can Google that up, I really would appreciate that. Mary Devlin. Um, I'm not getting a year or anything with that at the moment. It should just keep saying Mary Devlin. She's giving me the number 56. Five, six. Um, what are you telling me about 56? I believe we're going to 1756. I believe that's where we're going with Mary to 1756. Um, come on Mary, come up and join us. Show us something there please. I'm just going to make sure that that camera is writing because I can see that wobble myself. Yeah it is. I don't know what's causing that tonight. Um, Mary come and Mary. Right, as I look at Mary, um, can anyone see her at home? Because the way I look at her, um, I'm trying to see her clothing. I know there's something on her head and I can't see what it is. Come on, come closer, baby, so I can see what you're, what, what's going on here. She makes me feel really sick when she comes, in, comes closer. What are you getting at home? Can anyone help me out here? Um, come on, Mary. Sure. Did anyone see anything on the stairs then? Because with my eye, I could see something on that bottom step. Um, on the bottom step, on the, the curve on the step. And again, can you see it at home? Can you pick that up? 